gentlemen, prepare to have your mind blown and the level of your hair's amazingness taken from a 4 to an 11.5. When it comes to hack videos, trick videos, which are the same thing, some are like, all right, I, I, can't, like, I can kind of go there with you, but if we're being honest, I would never in a million years try that or need to do that, ever. But me? No, sir. Not this video. Actually, one of the five is kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> Go with me. Gentlemen, today I'm going over five hair hacks that are going to blow your mind and that you probably are going to be like, yo, Alpha, you're a freaking genius. I even impressed myself with number one, which is make an emergency hair product kit out of an old chapstick container. All right, so check it out. You've got an empty chapstick container and you've also got your favorite hair product. What we're doing is making a travel size that you can take with you, keep in your desk or in your computer bag, right? Just put some in there, get it in there. And it holds about a quarter of an ounce and it's perfect. Check it out. What? Are you kidding me? This is genius. You, this is genius, right? Throw it in your computer bag, in your car, your desk at work. You know that you're always prepared because you never know when you're going to be like, yo, I'm running late. I got to get to the office. I just got done working out. I'm all sweaty. My hair's a wreck. Like, yo, I got this. You go, you grab your emergency kit. Boom. Throw it in. Yeah, a little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Amazing. Come on, that that was a good one. How about a thumbs up for the, yeah, down, yeah, mm. Second, incredibly, al I'm just gonna call these alpha hair hacks because they're so freaking alpha, is actually one about getting rid of dandruff. I suffer from dandruff. I use a product called T-Gel by Neutrogena, which in my opinion is the best dandruff shampoo on the market. If you're somebody looking for a super cool, natural way to cure dandruff, you can always use vinegar apple cider vinegar to be exact um this stuff is incredible there's all sorts of benefits to drinking and consuming apple cider vinegar but one of the other amazing benefits of apple cider vinegar is actually curing dandruff here's how you do it you're going to need a small little spray bottle you're going to take the cap off you're also going to need some apple cider vinegar pour Fill the container a quarter of the way up with apple cider vinegar and then you're going to add the rest. Water. Whoa. Boom. And here's how you use it. Twice a week, possibly three, depending on the severity of your dandruff, you're going to get this. Get in the shower. After you wash your hair with shampoo, you're going to spray the apple cider vinegar onto your scalp. Now, you got to make sure you don't get it in your eyes because it will sting. You're going to saturate your head and then you're going to just like kind of chill out for about two to five minutes and then rinse it out. Afterwards, you're going to want to make sure that you use a high quality conditioner like the Pete and Pedro conditioner, which I will link to down below. The reason is because apple cider vinegar is kind of harsh and it will actually dry your hair out. Using the Pete and Pedro conditioner, after you use the apple cider vinegar treatment is a great way to replenish and nourish your hair and close the hair shaft or the hair cuticle. Now, this stuff, like I said, is totally natural. Every morning I get up, first thing I make like a little glass of my apple cider vinegar and water mixture and I drink it. There's so many incredible benefits from consuming apple cider vinegar on a daily basis. Do some searches online like benefits of apple cider vinegar. You're going to be like, yo, I got to start this. I've been doing it for about three years now and it's amazing and I love it. Number three. Speaking of loving it, you're going to love this next hair hack. It is amazing and it is combining cocktailing, if you will, putty with a sea salt spray or a pre-styler. Now, one of the issues that I have is when I get out of the shower, my hair is wet, I dry it with a towel, and then I just start spraying the sea salt all over the place. And then I will use the putty and apply it and then blow dry my hair, which we'll talk about in a second because I got a trick for that too. One of the issues is sometimes it's kind of difficult to distribute the matte product on your hair and make sure that you get it down to the roots and the shaft and cover it all, right? Well, I have discovered something that makes the application of this and this super easy. This is a game changer that I just discovered. All right, so take your favorite hair product, all right? Put it in your palm, emulsify like normal. But now what you're going to do is spray one, two, three squirts 
of your sea salt spray or pre-styler in there and what happens it makes the product so much smoother and easier to apply to your hair. Look at this volume, right? It is ridiculous. And it's been like seven hours since I did it this morning. And it still looks this incredible. Guys, here's the deal. If you're looking for two products to try to take your hair to the next level, you got to check out the Pete and Pedro Sea Salt Spray. This stuff is a game changer. Spray it in wet, spray it in dry, just spray it in. And you're going to be incredibly amazed at how much life, how much body, how much substance your hair has. And then the Pete and Pedro Putty is is in my opinion and I've tried a lot of hair products the best hair product on the market and this goes for like any hair product um, because it's so incredibly versatile you can put it in wet hair and slick it over and it'll stay all day or you can put it in dry it and it gets super soft and the best part it's good for your hair we've infused it with all sorts of botanicals and essential oils to make sure that it's not damaging to your hair one of the problems with using over-the-counter hair products not that they're all bad or they don't work well is the quality of the ingredients if you guys missed the video where I went to the drugstore I grabbed a bunch of like super popular cheap products and I tested them I styled my hair with each of them it's a really great video and it shows you right in that video I'm telling you like it is like this is good this is bad but it really boils down to the quality of the ingredients guys if after watching that video or you want to try an incredible hair product um, there's a link down below along with the discount code fourth hack is for all you dudes who want to maximize the amazingness and the volume of that incredible hair of yours and it is going to require a hair dryer now you are not going to lean upside down to blow dry your hair. My buddy Joe, he's got a hack video, and that's one that he recommends for extra volume. You can try that, but I want to see what I'm doing. And I also know that if I get a hair dryer with a little tip like this, comes off, you're going to put it on. But what a lot of people do is they use this wrong. They put the little tip in the direction sideways as opposed to vertically. And what you're going to do is blow dry your hair in the opposite direction. But I want you to get kind of close to your roots. Don't stand out here. It's all about that high intensity, that direction. Opposite direction, right? Get it nice and close. And then come back with your hands and just kind of smooth it in to place but look at that right it's nuts it's all about the direction the the intensity of that air right but you want to make sure that you don't burn your scalp so i would recommend turning the heat setting down to medium or even going cool speaking of cool number five the fifth hack is i think kind of cool and it's all about what happens when you wake up and you don't have time to shower your hair is super greasy and you look kind of like a greasy nasty scuzz ball the answer is dry shampoo but most dudes are like yo, I don't have dry shampoo, but you do, or your mom has cornstarch. Or baby powder, any type of talc-based powder, but I'm trying to use less talc because I've heard some interesting, not so amazing things about it. But cornstarch is a perfect option. All you're going to do is take a little bit, right? Get it sort of like on your fingers, put it on your palm, just get it, emulsify it like normal, right? And then you're going to just run it through your hair. One of the issues and things that guys do wrong is they'll just take it and like sprinkle it on and then you get like a big clump like stuck and it stays white but if you emulsify it you put it in your hands run it through it totally absorbs a lot of the oil and the grease it eliminates grease and also gives your hair a little extra texture and i just love it i think cornstarch is incredible as a dry shampoo alternative a lot of women use dry shampoos guys it really hasn't caught on but cornstarch Probably will. <laughs> Look at that. It's, it's freaking out of control. Gentlemen, you know what else is out of control? This video in terms of awesomeness. If you dug it, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't checked out Pete and Pedro, hit that link. Use that code to get flowing luscious locks of hair amazingness.